video is something a little bit different. I'm going to be unboxing my new compound miter saw. Yeah, I know, I've already got one there. I'll explain why I've got a new one. Why do I really want to sit on the floor and do this? So as you saw then, it's a little bit of a hassle having to do it on the floor because it's not safe on the work surface. I've got it on French cleats on the wall so it's nicely stored away, but it'd be nice just to have it on the workbench so I've got access all the time and permanently powered up with the rest of my workshop. So let's unbox this. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Well, we know what we've got, we've got a miter saw. So straight away there, standard packaging, and there we go. Lots of bits that I've yet to figure out what they do. <laughs> uh, wish we put all the bits. We've got uh, your instruction manual, yeah whatever. Oh, some more bits there, oh wow, there we go, we know what them are. Ah, so far, so good. And there she is, the mitre saw itself. Oh, don't you just love the smell of new plastic? <laughs> there we go, let's remove the box. And there we go. Very nice. There we go. Yeah. So far, so good. There we go, if I put it so you can see there. Not bad at all. Don't know where, how to adjust it. Ah, there we go. So there we go. Not bad at all. It's actually, a, feels like a good quality bit of kit. I've brought this over to my other workbench, so I've got a plug handy. So we'll now test it and see what it's like. Well, to be fair, that's really loud. <laughs> it's definitely not the quietest machine on the market, that's for sure. But it's it's very light, very... Sorry about that. It's very light, very smooth movement. The uh, safety guard comes out the way really smooth. Uh, so yeah, that's very happy with that. I think we loosened that one. That gives our play. And it actually indexes very nice with a click. So for each one, don't know if you can hear that. So that's really nice that is a, the reassuring click. That locks it down. For the rear, the compound, there we go. Oh, that's very smooth. And you've got a little gauge on the back there. Very smooth. And to lock it down when not in use, there's a little pin at the back which slots in like so. So part B sl slides into. Oh, oh, you're not going to see that. Ugh. Right, we don't need instructions. We're men. We don't use instructions. Let's figure this out on our own. with the new. We got it lined up on zero so we'll see if this actually is 90. I'll hold the guard out of the way and there we go the guard is that is absolutely spot on 90. I guess the best way to test this 
is to cut it. This is normally the kind of stuff that I use, so let's try it out. More than happy with that, knife through butter. It's a bottom of the range mitre saw, but I'm more than happy with it and it does exactly what I want to do. And I think the build quality is very good for that price. So yes, I would recommend this product. Thank you.